Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Alarm Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're viewing one of Relentless's new flavours and this one is going to be on the raspberry flavour. So I found this particular drink in a random Shell petrol station in a motor service station on one of the motorways. And I saw it in there, there was two new flavours in there, they had the raspberry one and a peach flavour as well. So it seems like they're finally coming out with some brand new flavours. Finally, it's been about time Relentless to bring out a new flavour. Anyway, so let's give you guys a full 360 of the can. So this one is zero sugar as well. In fact, they're both zero sugar as well. So they seem to be pushing for this uh, new zero sugar theme, which is good. But yeah, we have a obviously completely kind of updated, modernized, relentless design. They finally, so they're kind of rebranded, redone this, redone that, sorted themselves out. And hopefully we, we can expect, you know, bigger and better things now from relentless. So most of this can is white. Now, I'm not sure whether they do make a full sugar version of these, um, you know, because obviously the kind of original relentless used to be kind of brown or something like that. So I'm not too sure whether a full sugar version would be black, but I'm assuming there's only going to be a zero sugar one now and that they are going to stay white. But yes, most of the can is white. We can have these lines and stuff going in the background of the can, so it just kind of breaks up the can a little bit. The rocks, uh, I'll say Rockstar, the Relentless R has been redesigned. So a more simpler R, but with a spear going straight through the uh, middle of the R. And then of course we have Mr. Raven on the back there, or Crow, whatever you want to call it. The old cans were kind of themed around uh, kind of like a raven and the bird, but they weren't really the full front, you know, forefront of the can design. But now they're a lot more simple. You can see it there and they're a lot more obvious to see. And then of course, just got the Relentless uh, thing at the bottom as well. On the bottom we've just got the ingredients and then we've got a little bit of a story which we'll read in a second as well. On the bottom we've got nothing and on the top everything's with standard and silver including the pour ring as well. So yes, taking a close look at the can, so raspberry zero sugar. It sounds nice doesn't it? Well reading the back of the can, so as it is sugar free what sweeteners do we have? We have sugar close and a sulefem case, so no aspartame which is good, so good start there. Sugar content is indeed zero grams of sugar per 100 ml. Our vitamins are our favorite and usual vitamins, which are niacin, panathenic acid, vitamin B6, and B12. And the caffeine content is 30 milligrams per 100 ml. So it's two milligrams low of what the average is, which is generally 32 milligrams, but them two extra, them two less milligrams are gonna make no difference really whether you win the Olympics or not. But yes, 30 milligrams per 100 ml. And now time to read the story. So, which also did, uh, did double check this story is the same on the other flavor relentless so unfortunately it's just the same copy and pasted story on every other can which is a shame anyways so it says the journey towards artistry and committing everything for your moment is an accolade in itself greatness or glory doesn't come by accident it is earned in forging in our humble opinion the ultimate tasting energy drink we set upon a quest not for perfection nor for passion to produce a drink worthy of the name Relentless. Its refreshing, smooth finish and uncompromising flavour knows no boundaries. Be unwavering in your personal pursuit of greatness, be relentless. So basically, again, we've heard this a million times before, this drink's the best tasting, in our opinion it's the great tasting, best flavour, blah blah blah, I've heard it a million times and many times it's not been true or great, so there we go. Anyways, so it's nice and cold, got my Zesty Lime Studios cup, so nevertheless, let's get straight to it. Hopefully it won't explode over me. So as this is raspberry, I'm guessing the colour is going to be some sort of red or something like that, but I could be wrong. Right, don't explode. We're safe. There we go. Ouch, bit of fluff on there, well wiped it down. Right. And the colour is... Hey viewers, Zesty Lime Studios here. If you want to save 10% discount on any of these Zest Gamer products, don't forget to use code ZESTYLS. The code will be in the description below. These are my two personal favourites, Horus and Hyper Beast. Thanks guys. Hey, surprise, surprise. There we go. Pull that in there, put that to one side. So quite a lot of fizz and foam on this one, as you can see, and quite a lot of bubbles on the side on this one. You know, there's quite a lot of 
foam on the top there. So for the most part, yes, the colour is red as you can see, although it's definitely obviously not bright red, like well, I haven't really anything red near me, but you know, it's not super bright red, it's just got maybe on the lighter side, almost a I guess it's just a lighter red, isn't it, more than anything else? And it is non-see-through as you can't see my face through the drink. So let's give it a closer smile now and see what we can smell of. Oh, it smells nice. It smells kind of very similar to like the kind of kind of raspberry, raspberry kind of sorbet kind of like ice cream stuff you get. Yeah, that's kind of like that raspberry sorbet kind of ice cream stuff. So it smells nice. Well, nevertheless, guys, got high hopes for this. Let's taste some. Oh dear. Yes, yeah, so you can probably tell from my instant face reaction. That really, oh, that shook me, that did. Ooh. That's, um, yeah, that's not, that's not great, unfortunately. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, that's not great, guys. That's a bit of a shame. And I was expecting a lot, lot more from this flavour. So, so from when I initially drank it, I felt like at the beginning, you get this very, very, minimal raspberry flavor very minimal taste at the beginning and i mean it's okay you know the raspberry flavor at the beginning but it's very minimal and not really that nice and definitely not worth buying so that little bit of raspberry flavor at the beginning but then straight after that as again from my face reaction this horrible kind of chemical concoction taste kicks in and it's just it's it's not great it's pretty nasty to be honest with you which is a big letdown because I had high hopes for this one and I had high hopes for the uh, other flavour as well, the peach flavour. But that was really not great chemical taste whatsoever. I mean, what on earth are they playing at? So, like I said, with the raspberry at the beginning though, I think because it's so minimal and it's so quick, it really doesn't warrant buying this drink. I mean, by all means, if you guys see it, pick it up and try it once just to try it. But honestly, you will be disappointed because this is just so bad. And for all the other drinks on the market now, they've really got to sort themselves out because when they're creating drinks like this and peach one as well, they really can't compete, especially, you know, in the sugar-free world now with the Monster Ultras and the massive kind of tycoon that is, they really can't be bringing out stuff like this when they're comparing it to that. But, you know, it's not a great rebranded start from them. But honestly, who goes through these taste tests? Because I tell you what, I need to work for some of these companies because that is just not great tasting whatsoever. It's just, it's just got horrible chemical taste at the end. I know it's nice and cold. I literally bought this a few days ago. So of course it's well in date. It's nice and cold because it's been in my fridge. Um, so it's literally, I can't do any more than that. But you know, my mouth is neutral. You know, I haven't just brushed my teeth. So it's going to taste disgusting. My mouth's neutral and everything like that. So yeah, just a really, really big letdown. There isn't too much else to say about this drink. Just a little bit of raspberry flavour at the beginning again, which is so minimal, minimal, porous and just really not worth it. And then the rest of it just hit with these chemical flavours and tastes. So yeah, it's really not great whatsoever. Well, yeah, big letdown with that really, unfortunately. I was expecting, i say a lot, lot more, a lot more, just I was expecting a nice, crisp, sugar-free raspberry drink, but um, no, let me down with Lendus again, unfortunately. So um, there's a reason you guys are the smallest out of the big companies, but you've got to change your game to get up there because creating stuff like this and other things like this will only, you know, give, give yourselves a bad name because I'd be 100% honest with my reviews and opinions. And that is my opinion with it. And honest with you, it just tastes nasty. And I'll never buy this drink again because of those reasons. Whereas if it tasted really nice, I would have probably bought a few more cans and stuff. But there we go. Anyways, viewers, well, that drink gets a thumbs down from me. But anyways, if you have tried that drink, then please let me in the comments below what you guys think to the drink. But as always, thanks for watching.